similar to George's press conference, please raise your hand and we'll, uh, we'll pass mics for this. So, yeah. Start off here in the front, Brian. Brian Quigley, SB Nation. Um, just wanted to ask you about, you know, Stas and Nate Patrick coming here. They're the two new guys, but they've obviously been around, you know, a while. They've played a team or with Team USA together. Can you just talk about how them being the new guys, does that kind of help them form chemistry together? I think they know each other pretty well. Like you said, they played a little bit uh, of Team USA together and that, and they're good friends, so it definitely helps chemistry and all that. And hopefully they have a good start to our season. They had a good camp together and played well. And uh, like I said, it all, it's all about moving forward and getting ready for tomorrow. So I like the chemistry so far. Uh, the good guys are good people for our group, and they're fitting in real well right now. There's Case. Uh, Case Key for Las Vegas Sun. After what you guys did last year, I got to think teams took a long look at you at the offseason to kind of see how, how to attack you differently. And how many different looks do you expect to see early in the season? I'm worried about what the other team is going to do. I'm going to worry about our team making sure we're ready to play the same way we did last year. And, uh, play fast, play hard, play quick, and uh, get ready for every game. So the team is going to respect us. Obviously, we got a good team on paper, and we got to make sure we work hard and uh, make sure it's a good team on the ice again. Jesse Granger right here, and then John in the back. Jesse Granger with the athletic. When you're making the decision to play Eric Halla on the wing in the top six or as the third line center, just what ended up making that decision for you uh, to, to put him on that top, that second line? Well, Eric's, uh, Eric's a good player for us. He had 29 goals for his last year and he played center. And uh, Eric's a guy that, uh, you know, he just wants to play well and he wants to play with good players. And uh, no matter who he plays with in our top six or top nine or top 12, he's going to play with good players. So it's an opportunity. Eric's been outstanding. I mean, if you asked him where he'd love to play, he'd love to play center. But if you asked him if he's happy right now playing wing, he's definitely happy playing wing. So that's what matters to me. It's about uh, playing for the team, and that's why our team was successful last year, because it's all about the team first. Coach Ron Cottrell, he's now. Did you notice the players players are watching practice for a little while? Today? Yeah, they got there at the end, yeah. <laughs> and do you have any plans to go out there? They're working on that. Do you think your players can... You're not going to... I mean, we watch games all the time, and, uh, you know, you don't uh, really worry about what the other team's going to practice. I mean, I'm not going to waste my time going out there watching them and trying to steal some of their drills or something like that. You don't do that. I like their coaches. They're good friends of mine and their coaches staff, so I know what they're going to do. No, anyway. just for fun. No, no, I wouldn't think you would say I might go and say hello to them, something like that. But yeah, we're not going to go out there and look at their drills and look at them trying to do some more of Hey, coach. You know, it's I can't wait to get started, to be honest with you. Like I said, camp's, camp's not that long, but it feels real long. And uh, we're happy today's our last practice, and now we're getting ready to play a, a big game tomorrow night. And uh, you're getting excited for the real season to start again. And like I said, it was a good good training camp for the most part. I mean, we had a couple guys bumped up and banged up a little bit, but for the most part, everything went pretty well. Ken, and then we'll go Dave. Ken Wilkieson, uh, Vegas. Looks like your third line is going to wind up being of three centers. Who do you expect to play center and do you see a lot of interchange with that? No, not really. I mean, again, the, the guys that play center a lot, Lindbergh played everywhere last year. He played most in the wing last year, so I don't consider him a center wing or a left wing or a right wing or you know, those type of guys. So, no, that's uh, what you've seen out there today is going to be the line and they're going to play well and they're taking all the adjust to different positions. And again, most of them play different positions all their careers. It was the center. I think it's Lindbergh, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's Lindy. That's our big fiction review journal. I asked George if you guys have settled on captains. He said, I haven't probably told the group yet. I guess, where are you at with that? Maybe We've settled, but I haven't yeah. told the group yet. What might you do with this year, just in terms of the decisions? And, and well, it's, like I said, the, last year we, we rotated. There was three on the home and three on the road. and. Uh, you know, there were six different captains, but the most important thing for our group was it's a leadership group for eight or nine guys. You know, the older guys, the veteran guys, and uh, we're going to have the same type of thing for this year. It's going to be a bunch of guys that are going to be leadership, they're going to make decisions. They want a day off, they don't have a day off, they can come and see me as a group, and that's how we work with things, and they want different things done, and that's, that's how we work with our team. It's not just the coaching staff making the decisions, uh, we'll hear them out, and they know that, we respect their decisions, so for the most part, most of the time they come in last year and ask for something, we pretty much give them. So it's important, like I said, for me, and, and it's been mentioned earlier, we got 23 captains and we're going to leave that with our group. 
So that's the biggest input for us. So Shanghai hockey list. Do you prefer the preseason at this length, or would you prefer that maybe it was shorter? Or is this personally, I, personally, I think it's perfect. perfect. Personally, I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, we played seven games. I think the games are good for the players to play. Uh, you, you give lots of people opportunities to play some games that you know we only had three games. Some of a lot of those kids wouldn't play many games. So I think it's real good. I'm happy with it. Dave, this is going to be a little off, but uh, Vancouver Canucks apparently banned Fortnite. Do you even know what Fortnite is? I, <laughs> I guess maybe is there. A I just heard that you say something about that, so I I don't know what it is exactly. The game. I get, no, I get no comment on that. Okay. Maybe more I'm not going to say nothing, but... Yeah, it's, it's maybe that. Like, in no. terms of on the road, is, is there anything you guys... No. ...set restrictions with or whatever? No. We don't. The coaching staff for sure is not over. Jesse? You mentioned the uh, Vancouver Canucks and the leadership group comes to you and, and maybe requests stay off and just has really good communication with you. Is that... Normal for most hockey teams. I think they so. Have yeah. captains, or is that is it? Yeah, is I it think so. I mean, team? I think some teams might just have their captains. You know, captain, assistant captain, come in and then do that. But I think every team does the same thing. I'm sure. But we have a, a bigger group than that, and that's the work good last year. We're going to try it again this year. Well, two more questions, Jason. Brown. Well, there's been up there, I guess, your third opener. You had a goal, assist, two penalties, and a game misconduct. Do you remember anything about that? Would you be upset if, if one of your players uh, had a game like that? When was that? That was your third opener. My third yeah. opener in the NHL as a yeah. player? Did we win? Uh, no, you just lost. I had a good night, but the team did not. Game is gone, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My teammates didn't pick me up, obviously. <laughs> Goal assist, that was pretty good. What did you get kicked out? I have no idea. What was it? It was spear. It was yeah, spearing I and uh, <laughs> I didn't do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't remember. Just to <laughs> Anything else for coach? Last one to Chris. <coughs> Chris Chapman, Fox Sports Radio. Obviously, you knew going into the season you weren't going to have Nate Schmidt for 20 games, but now not having Cody Eakin and Alex talk for what George Rippey said week to week, how does that change the dynamic? Starting, especially with a tough road trip coming up. Yeah, we're missing three good hockey players, but again, we went through that last year. You know, I mean, uh, obviously, the 20 games are going to be a lot for Nate, but the other guys aren't going to be that, that long. You know, so uh, we'll be we'll get along without them. I mean, I like our lineup. I'm looking on the board right now, and we got four pretty good lines. We got six pretty good D going out there tonight. So or tomorrow night, sorry, but uh, it's the way it is. The NHL. I mean, every team misses players, and we fill in and we play the best we can without them. And uh, these guys get an opportunity, so. You know, we're going to go forward and uh, play the game. Thanks, Coach.